round four of the Swalek Bowl and Glyn Cork travel up the road to take on their neighbours in Cambrian welfare. With both sides boasting long and beaten runs, this was sure to be a classic derby from the depths of the South Wales Valleys. It's a big occasion for us, obviously, with Glyn Cork being unbeaten 45 games and us being unbeaten as well. Um, and this history between both clubs. We, we're looking to obviously push on to the next round and obviously Glyn Cork being the oldest of the Bowl Cup, they look to hold on to that. Um, so yeah, the boys will be definitely up for it. Do you want to? Oh, we do that. Like, we just have the one we share. <laughs> a massive game today um, against Cambria and our uh, local rivals. Um, it's no easy place to come up here um, to win. Um, we're uh, relishing the opportunity. You're unbeaten all season, um, so is this going to be a straightforward game for you? Um, no, not really, because um, it's, I think it's 45 games unbeaten we are now. Um, and obviously, Cambrai, I want to take out title from us. We've uh, been up for this for the last, well, since the draw has been made, you know. Uh, big, big game. Uh, both teams uh, know each other through the, the junior leagues and uh, always an hard place to come. And uh, we well, just can't wait to get it on now. Glen Koch, like you said, got a very, very long history, long rivalry between uh, you and Cambrian. Um, what kind of game do you expect it to be today? Oh, no, the typical Valleys game, blood and guts from the start, but uh, both, uh, both teams uh, enjoy playing uh, open rugby uh, nowadays, so hopefully with the weather as well, it'll be a good spectacle. Yeah, obviously today is going to be a big, big task. Um, so we're not looking past today. We know what we've got to come up with. Um, you know, it'll be tough, but... No, we're confident, you know, we know what we can do and obviously we're home and hopefully we're a big crowd and hopefully things will go away. Playing at home, home advantage going to make a, any difference? Upper Tamp is massive advantage. You know, at the moment though, the talk is we are the underdogs and yeah, rightly so. They deserve the respect they got, you know, they get because uh, they are unbeaten, they are bowl holders. But uh, deep down they know, you know Upper Tamp, anything can happen. Right, listen up, first series, okay? It's good to be near us. It's good to be near us. I'm sure you care, man. Okay? What I want to see is big games, big players stand up. Right? They don't they don't go into their shell, they don't panic, they stand up. Games like this is what you want to be a part of. Right? These are the ones that people remember. Right? They won't remember anything else. They remember this game. Right? Now what we're gonna do, we've got to get into a movie. Cambrian Welfare went into the break leading by 10 points to three. Would Glyncourt respond in the second half to crush the home size dreams of reaching the Millennium Stadium? Full-time score, 18-15 to Cambrian Welfare, and they move on to the next round of the Swaylek Bowl. What a game. They went uh, right to the wire, as you could see. Just unbelievable. Ups and downs in the game. Um, dominated Laurel's first half, and then second half, they come back into it. We made some stupid errors, but uh, last minute of the game, we kicked the goal to win. Just unbelievable, really. Massive, massive win. And as you can see, the crowd all run on, and. 
just an unbelievable win for us and we just chuffed the bits, really chuffed. You know, I've had other coaches from around that text me and wishing me luck and you know every everybody knows what's going on and you know we're just so pleased to win. We, we knew they'd be good but uh, you know to slot that then last minute of the game definitely uh, really really happy with them doing that. Right? That was an absolutely outstanding, outstanding win. Class what a win. Right? All loads of like massive crowd. Boy, you know, credit to that everyone. Julian, congratulations. What a way to win the game. Yeah, it was uh, tense at the end there, I think. I didn't think we'd get another chance to win after I missed that kick. The boys dug in deep. Seven men in the forward, and we still got two penalties at the end, so outstanding. How did it feel to slot that, that winning kick? I don't know, I still can't feel my legs. <laughs> that was great, awesome. I think it shows how much, well, how much the boys really want to win this, this competition, doesn't it? Well, it's, it's playing the stadium is awesome incentive. We can't get these games, we've got problems. Especially to beat Clint Cork as well, they're an outstanding team. They showed the qualities at the end to come back, which they could have won it. So we've got a lot of respect from as well. And what does this bowl mean to you? Everything. Every player's dream is playing in Millennium Stadium. Some professionals don't do it. If you can do it playing in Division 6, 5 or 4, it's an outstanding achievement. On to the next round now? Yes, uh, I think we've got an away draw in Monmouth or someone else, but I think we're going to fear anyone. We've got nothing to lose with Division 6. I think we can beat anyone. Thanks, Julian. Thanks very much.